Hello. I'd like to answer a few questions that came up from the board meeting regarding internet. Um, if you want to sign on for virtual only but don't have access to internet, how will the school support me? I can tell you that to make that decision for a successful virtual only learning experience, consistent and reliable internet is ideal. So if you have, do not have that, that is going to be a challenge for you in making that decision. Why does the school use Zoom for the board meetings but Google Hangouts for classrooms? So classrooms are a part of the Google ecosystem and it is natural to house video conferencing within that platform. Zoom supports the school board's need for live streaming via YouTube. Um, another question was, will hotspots be issued for families without internet? Which is similar to the first question in regards to what support can we give. The district will not be issuing internet capable hotspots to individual families due to availability and financial burden to the district. However, we have been able to expand our wireless internet connectivity across building parking lots, as well as purchasing two mobile hotspot stations, which will be strategically placed throughout the Marshall and Albion communities on a scheduled rotation. So you can see our van or bus, whichever we put that into mobile, arriving at a location based on a schedule, whether it's a housing development center or a downtown neighborhood area or what have you, uh, throughout the, the day, and uh, you'll be aware of when those are available. Thank you.